Hamilton County Commissioners are meeting right now talking about an issue that never ends. It seems the stadium debt. The proposal on the table and property owners will like this. A larger property tax rollback. Valerie Miller is live outside the county office in downtown. She has the latest on developments. Valerie? Tanya just stepped out of that meeting to bring you the latest developments on what's going on in the discussion that is still happening right now. Commissioner Greg Hartman is hoping for a second vote yes in support of his proposal to bring balance to the stadium tax fund. And he says a critical piece this time is cooperation from both the Bengals and the Reds. And Hartman is proposing to end an $800,000 subsidy of downtown parking garages and use that money to increase property tax rollback by about 20% for next year. The amount is not to the level voters approved with the sales tax hike, but it is better than last year. Hartman says the willingness of the Reds and Bengals to absorb $16 million in stadium improvements is critical. In this resolution, the teams are giving up $16 million worth of improvements that we think they're that, that we would have to pay under the leases. So they're taking ownership of this problem with us and, and, and moving forward. Our part's got to be, we, we were making the commitment to taxpayers that that rollback is important. We're reinstating as much as we can now. Now, it's uncertainty at this point if the commissioners will support this and vote it through. Uh, Commissioner Monzel already brought up an issue that he would like to be able to give property taxpayers that full rollback, but Commissioner Hartman says the county just doesn't have the money for that. The critical also piece of this is that the county has to make a decision by November 30th. That's the deadline that the county auditor needs to have all of that information to determine the millage. So there's certainly, if they don't meet that deadline, then the property tax rollback would not be possible next year or ever in the future for the county. So it's a big decision, Tanya. Yes, it is. Valerie Miller live outside well, the Hamilton County offices there. Right now.